Okay, this is the second you try it problem in section 6.1 and I'm on page 146 and this illustrates the conjunction introduction. There's the form right there. So we're going to be working with that. All right, it says open the file conjunction 2. That's what I've done. And so we look at the first goal. All right, that's uh, D is medium and C is not large. It says add a new step and enter this sentence. Okay, so we're gonna add a new step. Remember we can just copy and paste the goal to make it a little bit easier. And we're not gonna do the rule yet because it says above the step you just created, add two more steps, typing one of the conjuncts in each. All right, okay, so we can do that by saying proof, uh, add step before, the other way we can do it is, and I'm gonna do it this way, is go here, and I just do command A, that adds another step. So we want to, it says, write both of these conjuncts in each. All right, so let's do medium D first, All right? D is medium, D is medium. Now, how do we know that? Well, in the previous You, tr you Try a video, um, I explained conjunction elimination. So we look up here, and we see D is a tet, and D is medium, and we can just drop out one of these through conjunction elimination, and we want to cite, and let's see if we're right. Yes, we are, okay. And now we go down to the next one, and it's the same thing. We want to take a look at C is not large, so we want to write that, C is not large, not large, C, and it's the same rule that we got before, and we're gonna cite it from up here, right? It's the same thing. We're just eliminating that and right there, and let's check. Right, okay. So we go down here. Remember, this is the first goal. And how do we know that D is medium and C is not large? Well, this is just kind of the opposite of what we just did, but creating a different uh, statement. So. We actually introduce and here because we've shown D is medium and we've shown C is not large. So when we cite both of these and intro, that checks out. And so we have our first goal. Now we go on to the second goal. You see it right here. D is a tet and C is a dodec and D like C or no, C likes D, or D likes C. That's right, got to reverse there. So there's the second goal. All right, we need to go ahead and have that be copied into above so that we can prove that. I'm going to go back up here. All right, so copied and pasted that. But that's we're not done. We need to add another step. So let's see. We know our first conjunct here is from up here, so let's write... D is a tet, we get that by itself. And how do we know that? It is just and elimination from up here. Let's check the step, good. Now on to C is a dodec. C is a dodec, all right, and we get that from up here and the rule is and elimination again. Right there, let's check to make sure we did everything right, and we did. And now here is the last conjunct and it's an or statement. All right, but we just see that from up here. So that's gonna be pretty easy. Uh, so we can go down here and we cite, let's cite them in order. D is a tet, C is a dodec, and C likes D or D likes C. Cite that. And again, we're gonna do this time introduction and introduction. And let's see if we're right, and we are. Our goals should check out, and we're done.